Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 4. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 7 of Book 4. In this proposition, we are going to demonstrate the methods required to draw a square on the outside of a circle. To do this, again, we start by drawing the diameter of the circle through the center, a point E. The next thing we do is to draw another diameter, such that it is perpendicular to point E. And we label that diameter BD. Next, we draw lines at point A, B, C, and D, such that they just touch the circle. We label the points of intersection of FGHK. And now we have that FGHK is a square drawn so it just touches the circle. And how do we prove that this is so? Well, GF touches the circle so that the angle at point A is a right angle by definition. Similarly, we can show that the angles at point D, C, and B are all right angles. Now the angle at the center of the circle is also a right angle. So we have the angle here at B is a right angle, and the angle here at E is a right angle, which means that G and sorry, GH and AC are parallel. Since they have opposite angles are equal, these two lines are parallel. So GH, AC are parallel. And using the same arguments, we should can show that FK is parallel to AC, or in other words, these three lines are mutually parallel. So GH is equal to FK. Similarly, we can show that these three lines are mutually parallel and that HK is parallel to GF. Now, since all these lines are parallel to each other, we have the following equalities. The lines G H, A, C, and F, K are all equal, according to Proposition 34 of Book 1. And similarly, the lines G, F, B, D, and H, K are all equal. But since B, D and A, C are equal, so A, C is equal to B, D, and A, C is equal to the sides of the triangle and BD is equal, sorry, AC is equal to the sides of this quadrilateral and BD is equal to the sides of the quadrilateral here and AC and BD are equal. All the sides of this quadrilateral are equal and we have an equilateral or a parallelogram. Now this is a parallelogram. We've already established that all the sides are parallel. And in a parallelogram, the opposite angles are always equal. And since we have constructed these two diameters to be perpendicular to each other, or in other words, this is a right angle, then the angle at G is also a right angle. And using the same methods, we can show that the angles at G, F, K, and H are all right angles. Consequently, we have an equilateral with all right angles which is, by definition, a square. So this is how you draw a square on the outside of a circle such that it just touches the circle. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the Next button.